in this video you will learn the difference between a line and a polyline a line is a discontinuous segment while a polyline is a continuous segment we can use either a line or a polyline to draw a straight line for example let's draw a straight line of length 1500 the first step is to click the line command pick a point on the screen next ensure that the line is straight by pressing F8 on the keyboard or by turning the auto on on the status bar either clicking on the auto mode or pressing F8 will ensure that you have a straight line next type 1500 for a thousand five hundred press enter this enter will take this line from the starting point to this end point which is a line of a thousand five hundred next press enter again to terminate the line or press the escape key we have drawn a straight line by using the line command next we're going to repeat this line by using a polyline click on the polyline tool next pick a point on the screen next ensure that the line is straight by pressing f8 or you turn the orthogonal on next type 1500 that is a thousand five hundred press enter this ends here press enter again or press the space bar or press the escape key to terminate the polyline command you can observe that both the line and the polyline are the same if the aim is just to draw a straight line let's consider these stairs i will move up the riser 225 the thread will be 300 225 300 225 300 225 300 225 300 that is this is 225 300 225 300 225 300 225 300 225 300 next here i will come down by 1125 and this i will go this way by a thousand five hundred which is fifteen hundred this is one one two five and this is fifteen hundred this is simply three hundred multiply by five it will give you this and this is two two five multiply by five will give you one one two five this is in millimeters this is also in millimeters this is two two five millimeters and this is 300 millimeters this is the riser and this is the thread it is important to plan your drawing in sketches before opening the autocad software this will ensure that you are well organized before starting off any drawing and for this part of the drawing this is the run and this is the rise this is the total rise and this is the total run for the stairs next i'm going to draw the stairs by using the line tool command click on the line command pick a point ensure that you have a straight line next type 225 press enter next direct your mouse to the right type 300 press enter next 
direct your mouse up type 225 press enter you can use the roller mouse to increase or reduce the size of your drawing you can also press down the roller to pan the object you can see that the polyline did not cut next i will direct my mouse to the right i will type 300 press enter direct your mouse up 225 press enter direct your mouse to this direction 300 press enter next direct your mouse up 225 press enter next direct your mouse to this direction 300 press enter next direct your mouse up 225 press enter next direct your mouse to the right 300 press enter according to our planned drawing next i will come down 1125 press enter next i will click the end of where i started which is 1500 or you can type 1500 and press enter twice this is now our stairs i'm going to repeat this by using a polyline next i will click a polyline i will repeat this drawing i will click a point move up two to five enter i will go towards this direction 300 enter i will go up two to five press enter i will move towards the right 300 enter i will move up 225 press enter you can also use space bar for the enter key next i will move towards this direction 300 enter i will go up for the riser 225 enter i will move towards this direction for the trade 300 enter I will go up 225, press enter. I will move towards this direction 300, press enter. I will come down 1125, press enter. I will end this by clicking the beginning of where I started, or I will type 1500, which is 1500, press enter twice. Looking at these two drawings, it seems that there is no difference. We have drawn this using the line tool and we have drawn this using the polyline. However, for the polyline, if I click any part of the polyline, everything is highlighted. This is a continuous line segment a polyline is a continuous line segment i'll press escape on the keyboard to de-highlight the polyline that i clicked however if you click any part of the line you can observe that every part of this line are not the same anytime i press enter the line command will start a new segment. This part of the lines that I have highlighted, if I press delete on the keyboard, you can observe that those parts have been deleted. I will press Ctrl Z on the keyboard to restore the deleted segment back. If I click any part of the polyline and I press delete on the keyboard, Everything is deleted. All the stairs is now deleted. I will press Ctrl Z to bring it back. You now know the difference between a line and a polyline. You should know when to use a line command and when to use a polyline command. It all depends on what you want to achieve in that drawing. I believe this video was helpful.